Now at 11, the legal fight between Disney and its DeSantis-appointed oversight board appears to be over, at least for now. Today, we learned both sides have reached a settlement, ending almost a year of contentious litigation. News 6's Troy Campbell has a closer look at that deal. A lot of what happened with parents' rights and education, some of that stuff, was really driven by Burbank. It was not driven by Orlando. Governor Ron DeSantis speaking Wednesday regarding a settlement with Disney that stems from the state's takeover of the theme park's governing body, what was formerly known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District. The board's overhaul was in response to Disney's opposition of what was referred to by opponents as the Don't Say Gay Law. I think that there's a desire uh, to move forward. Uh, I think that they have uh, things that they probably have opportunities to do, to, to expand their footprint, to continue to attract visitors, and, and, and those things, when they can coincide with the state's interest, you know, we, we think that that would be good. Disney released a statement saying part of the settlement will allow for significant continued investment and in creation of thousands of direct and indirect jobs and economic opportunity in the state. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us now live in the newsroom. And Troy, does Disney have any further plans of development after canceling their plans in Lake Nona? Well, Ginger, so earlier this year, Disney announced it would invest $42 billion to increase capacity at all of its theme parks. But it's unclear how much of that money will be invested here in Central Florida. However, $42 billion, it's a lot of money, so even a small percentage of that amount could be a substantial investment for here in Central Florida. Troy Campbell, thank you very much. We'll have to wait and see.